EA Sports are here in Toronto for the FIFA Coca-Cola World Cup Trophy Tour. We're going to get to see the trophy, people will play the game for the first time and it's going to be a party atmosphere. This morning the Coca-Cola plane flew in with the trophy with Kanan, the artist who's recorded the World Cup song, Waving Flag. The trophy uh, tour is um, basically just trying to take um, the cup, you know, FIFA and Coca-Cola bringing the cup to to the fans. Yeah, the first time it's ever gone to uh, Toronto for Canada, period, and um, I'm really just proud to be a part of that in some way. Let's unveil for the first time ever in Canada the official FIFA World Cup trophy. Uh, the tour is a 225-day journey around the globe where we're just taking uh, the authentic FIFA World Cup trophy tour to see uh, fans um, and uh, be involved with Coca-Cola events all over the globe from South America to Asia to, to Africa where it began to here in North America which is the final leg before it goes back to South Africa on May 4th. I've, I've been really surprised at how passionate are, the Canadians are for football and there's loads of people down here in National team shirts, uh, Toronto shirts, come down to see the trophy, added bonus they get to see the game. I'm pumped man, it was always my dream to actually win it one day and maybe maybe that was a pipe dream but at least today I get a chance to, to feel, feel that rush and I'm definitely going to enjoy it. Yeah, it's magical. I mean, it doesn't matter what what jersey you see people wearing. I mean, everyone knows how special it is. I mean, it's um, it's such a unique trophy, and it's it's I think easily the most recognizable sports trophy in in the world. <laughs> he just called me last minute. Like, no, do you want to see the World Cup? Oh yes. What I witnessed is just people's love for the for the cup. I mean, people's love for the symbolism of it of it all, and um, you know, everybody, every country, they feel really. They, they get they get a sense of pride when the cup arrives like the cup is here with us I'm really excited it's the most famous trophy in the world and to be next to it and take a picture it's awesome So for us as a company at EA, it's very important for us to be able to work closely with organisations such as FIFA to make sure the game's as authentic as possible. That's to make sure we can deliver a game that feels a true representation of the World Cup. An example of how we partner with FIFA successfully are the 10 Stadia in South Africa. So some of them are brand new, some of them have been repurposed. The ones that were brand new, obviously building work was going on while we were still developing the game. So our friends at FIFA enabled our photographer to get access to these stadia, to go around the stands onto the pitch and take the photos he needed to take so that the stadiums you see in game now are as authentic and realistic as, as they will be when you see them on the broadcast from South Africa. It's definitely something that's done in cooperation with FIFA and, and in conjunction with FIFA uh, to make sure what your, that product and that game looks as close to what the 2010 World Cup is going to look like. I mean, I was actually just playing it over here and I hadn't seen the, the 2010 upgrade. And uh, I think they, what actually surprised me is I think they even have, you know, they've got like the individual players and you can tell and it's got them identified. But I think you actually, they've even started using the images that are like actual World Cup referees. And they've, they've you know, there's nothing they haven't thought of to really make it like as much as possible like real life. We think it's a great game. Um, we love the fact that they've updated it with all the new jerseys. As you can see, we got the new jerseys. And they only came out a month ago and they already have it updated. Having the stadiums, having all the teams competing, and the team that didn't make it makes it a lot of fun. I love it, man. It gives you a chance when you're not watching, you can play. I mean, you can get soccer 24 hours a day. That's what I'm planning to do. I haven't sharpened up my skills as I wanted to. Because, um, you know, my bandmates are all good at it and they kind of bully me about it. But I'll, I'll, I'll get there one day. For me personally, the World Cup is the thing I look forward to most of all. Every time it's over and it's another four years until the next one, my heart sinks a little bit. Uh, everything goes on hold during World Cup month. It probably takes some days off work. <laughs> it's festivities all around. It's just, you know what I mean? And that it's in the continent of Africa, the most, you know, celebratory uh, continent in the world, really. People are really, uh, you know, this is a continent full of energy, full of life, full of celebration and full of hope. And so for it to be there 
you know, the greatest game in the world and, and one of the m probably the most important continents in the world is it's fitting and it's beautiful.